you drink and drive. It's not because the alcohol made you do it. And you might think it is, but let me convince you. If someone cheats in a relationship while they're drinking, did the alcohol make them do it? No, that's silly, of course it didn't. Because alcohol doesn't change your thought process. It doesn't put thoughts there that weren't there before. It simply just removes that firewall. That second voice that's in your head that's like, ah, should I do this? Is diminished. So if you drink and drive, you made a mistake. It's objectively wrong. And I'm gonna help you not repeat that mistake. If you can't make the right decision, you have to eliminate the choice to make a decision at all. I used to think that everything was about willpower. When I would come home from Columbus, Columbus, I live by myself over the summer, I have control over everything. Everything that I do, everything that I eat, when I wake up, when I sleep, everything. But when I was getting, when I came home in Cleveland, I was becoming frustrated because there was temptation with food choices, of sleeping in, of playing video games, of not doing, you know, reading or all this, all these temptations. And I was like, okay, I need to muscle this out. Like, this is all about willpower. If I thought I was my behaviors, I was my habits. And if I'm not doing these habits, are they really my habits? Am I really my habits? Like, like what? Like I was so frustrated and confused and sad and mad all at the same time. But what I realized is I watched this video, it's not about muscling everything out. It's about eliminating the choice. So if you're drinking and driving, you need to eliminate the wrong choice. When you arrive at that bar or that house party and you're sipping down your first drink, you need to ask yourself, make a conscious decision. Am I gonna stay here and drink or am I not? It's not a matter of, am I gonna stay here and drink? Am I gonna stay here and not drink? Cause that's another decision. Am I gonna stay here and drink or am I not? Am I gonna leave? If you decide you're gonna leave when you finish that drink, if you feel okay, your blood alcohol level content should be fine where you can leave. If you don't feel comfortable, don't do that. But you should be able to leave and you should leave immediately so that temptation is no longer there. But if you decide to stay there and you're known for drinking and driving, what I want you to do is go to a friend or a family member that you trust the most and tell them straight up, look them dead in the eyes, be dead ass serious, say, hey, I'm gonna drink tonight and I don't wanna drive. Can you hide these for me? Don't give them to me under any, any circumstances until tomorrow morning. And so they're gonna go and they're gonna hide them. They're not gonna be on the person so you can't fight them or convince them. They're going to hide them and you're not gonna get them until the morning. You're gonna eliminate that decision. I really recommend you watch this video up here about willpower because you have a limited amount of willpower that you can exert in the day. There was a, a this still happens to this day. I try to control everything in my life. I, I kind of like, like that. I don't know, like being able to make decisions for myself and being consciously aware of every decision that I make but I'm exerting so much willpower in the day that when it was hitting noon, I was dead. I had to, I had to sleep. Like I was just so mentally exhausted. And I, I saw nutritionists and psychologists and I was looking at everything I thought was under the moon. And I like, I was eating a ton of food and I'm like, why am I so damn exhausted? Like I'm a healthy, 21 year old with no no disease no illness I'm eating in a surplus I'm you know happy I'm healthy it's because I was trying to exert willpower you have a limited amount and so if you if you expend it all early on in the day it's going to be much harder not impossible but much harder to exert your willpower on things that you choose to do after that what's good guys so you're probably wondering how does this relate to nutrition or exercise 
and I actually already made a video on this as far as how it relates to nutrition. That will be the second link in the description. The first one will be the video I was referring to about willpower, and the third one will be a survey. If you would like to get your questions answered, I will do my best to do that. All right, I'll see you guys later.